I'm about to show you how you can start wholesaling real estate for 100% free. So I went ahead and put together a PowerPoint to walk you through step by step on how to get started wholesaling for free. So that way at the end of this video, you'll have a game plan on how to actually get started. Now, step one is going to be educate yourself on the business, which is why I'm assuming you're all watching this video in the first place. But you really want to make sure that this is something you want to do, because at the end of the day, this is a business and you are going to be investing a lot of time and energy into this. And if you're not passionate about it or you don't have a strong interest in it, it's going to be hard to actually invest that time and energy, right? So once you figured out that, to, that this is something you want to do, you want to become familiar with how the process works. Now, you don't need to become an expert at the business or even a pro at the business. You just want to have enough knowledge that you're comfortable getting on the phones or going to an appointment without sounding 100% lost or clueless, right? You can sound 75% lost or clueless or 80% lost or clueless, but you don't want to sound 100% clueless. And then that goes on to my next point. Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. You do not need to know everything to get started in this business. You just want to know enough to be comfortable and to at least, you know, jump into the pool, right? So step two is going to be creating a CRM. Now, a CRM is a customer relations manager, and that's basically to help you track your follow-ups and leads. And there are a bunch of free solutions out there. The top three that I would recommend would probably be um, Google Sheets. You can just create like an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet. You can use Zoho, Podio. Um, there are a bunch more, but these are the top three that I think would be the easiest to use. So once you figured out that this is a business for you and you got your CRM put together, you want to start connecting with big wholesalers in your market. Now, I think the three quickest ways to connect with wholesalers would be through Facebook, um, through your title company. So call your title company and basically, you know, ask who the biggest wholesalers are in your area and basically tell them why you're looking to connect. And then um, going into Google and Google searching terms like investment properties for sale in your target market. And then you would go onto the property or you would go onto that wholesaler's website and you would see how many deals they've sold. If they've sold a lot of deals, then you want to call them and basically introduce yourself. Now, when you connect with these big wholesalers, you pretty much want to find out three things. You want to see if they can help you with your deals. So you want to figure out either can they help you lock up the properties when you come across them or can they help you sell the deals when you lock them up? You want to gather their buyer's criteria. So you want to figure out exactly where their buyers are buying at, what type of properties their buyers are buying. You want to figure out the percentage of ARV their buyers are buying at or what formula the buyers are using when they're buying. Uh, and then from there, you also want to figure out if they're buying deals that are listed on the MLS. Now, this is really important because we're going to be going after listed properties. So once you've figured out those three things and you have a wholesaler who's selling deals and they're happy to help you, you would move on to the next step. Now, to back it up real quick, there are a lot of um, Astro Flippers as well. I'm an Astro Flipper in the DC, Maryland, Virginia market. I'm also in Tampa. So if you're in any of those markets, you know, feel free to reach out to connect with me. But Astro Flipping students are a great resource to connect when it comes to wholesalers who can help you with this. Step four would be to call listed properties. Now, once you go on the MLS, you can find listed properties on Zillow, Redfin. If you have access to the MLS, you could go through there. But again, we're trying to keep it free. So you want to use Zillow or Redfin, and then you go after listed properties. Now you want to target listings that match the buyer's criteria that the wholesaler told you. So if they told you that their buyers are looking for properties that are 1950 and older or 1950 and newer in a certain area at 70% of the ARV, you want to look for listings that match that criteria. Now, once you found some listings that are outdated and think could be a great potential lead for those buyers, you want to call that listing agent and gather condition, occupancy, motivation, price, and timeline. Now, I'll put a video um, or I'll put a link over in the top right-hand corner to two other videos that I have, one going over how to find listings on Zillow 
and another one going over how to actually, you know, go over that condition, occupancy, motivation, price, and timeline. Now, once you've gathered all that information from the realtor or the listing agent, you go to step five, which is looping that wholesaler back in. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can either loop them in while or after you've gathered that information, you can loop them in and they can assist you with locking up the deal, whether that's helping you put your name on the contract, reviewing the contract for you and making sure everything looks good, or you loop them in with the realtor so that they can start having the conversation. They put their name on the contract, they get it locked up. And then from there, you guys or girls have a JV together. So that way it's split 50, 50, right? So you can loop in that wholesaler to lock up the deal for you, um, or you can loop them in to, so they can help you lock up the deal. Or you can secure the contract yourself and then loop the wholesaler in and have them help you with dispo or selling the deal. Which brings me to step six, let the wholesaler sell slash dispo the deal to their buyers. You already know the criteria their buyers are looking for. You already know they're selling deals. They've already told you that you know their buyers are interested in this and now they're going to send it out to their buyers list and do all the work on the disposition side. From here, what you want to do is if you have some free time, you know, maybe start building out a buyer's list. But what I personally would do is I would let that wholesaler handle the disposition side. And then I would just go back and start looking for more listings that matches the buyer's criteria. So now what you're pretty much doing is you're finding a listing, you're looping in the wholesaler, you're letting them dispo it. Then you go back, you find a listing, loop in the wholesaler, let them dispo it find a listing, loop in the wholesaler, let them dispo it. You're literally not spending a single dollar except other, I guess, other than your like phone bill um, and then your time, right? So this is how I would do it. And then some tips that you want to be aware of is follow up with any offer that was not accepted every two weeks until it's sold, taken off the market, you get it locked up, or they basically tell you to go away. Another tip would be always check to see if they have any other properties. Just because this property is no longer available doesn't mean they don't have something coming up, doesn't mean they don't have another listing available, or doesn't mean they don't have a pocket listing that you know they just didn't mention or that's not on the market. Relationships over revenue. When you are getting started, this is huge. Don't worry about knocking 50K deals out of the park right out of the gate, right? Don't worry about trying to, you know, whatever you're trying to do, focus on building relationships and just try to get as many deals as you can. And then once you're comfortable and you, you've, you've gained experience, then you can start worrying about getting those bigger checks. And then that bring me, it, this brings me to the last point. Don't pocket watch. If you get a deal locked up and you send it to someone and you're making $10,000 and they're making $20,000 or they're making 15, don't be the person to kill the deal because you feel entitled to more money. At the end of the day, everyone's doing their part. Everyone's selling deals. Ideally, it would be 50-50, right? That's how I like to do it. Um, if I'm going to make more money than the wholesaler, I, I like to position the 50-50 thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, everyone is here doing their job. Everyone contributed to help to get the deal sold. Focus on your pockets and deals will go so much smoother. So this is just, you know, some quick steps on how to get started for wholesaling a hundred percent free. Again, you don't need any money to, you know, call a wholesaler, ask where their buyers are buying at to go call some listings and then to loop in that wholesaler. You can do this a hundred percent free. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you leave a comment below hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and share this video with anyone else who might find it valuable. And I will see you all in the next video.